Good morning, friends. It's Christmas Eve, Eve day. Is that right? Yeah, it's the day before Christmas Eve. So we're cooking, cooking, cooking. And one of the things we're cooking is meringue cookies. I've never made them before. I'm going to show you the picture. Aren't they gorgeous? Let's see if they'll turn out like that. Dan and Julia are going to help us with the meringue. And I think that's going to be the most difficult part. And we'll see what kind of a mess we can make. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. All right, Dan has prepared the egg whites. So there's four egg whites and six ounces of sugar. And I don't think Julie is measuring. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. It's on a scale. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Dan has it on the, a double boiler. And he's whisking it until the sugar dissolves. I'm just saying what he tells me to say. I don't know. <laughs> So we are using the KitchenAid to beat until soft peaks form. <clears throat> However, I have had not such great luck with my, with my KitchenAid. <clears throat> I've had the bowl jump, jump out of the stand and lots of crazy things. So let's see what happens. We're gonna add, hi, hi blog. Uh, we're gonna add <laughs> vanilla extract, peanut butter, and salt, and then we're going to beat it to stiff peaks. All right. Making progress. Okay, so we're at stiff peaks now. All right, so we read the directions more carefully, and it says that you need to use food coloring gel, not just food coloring. So, I happen to have food coloring gel because I am a master baker, of course. And anyway, so Julie is now going to try to coat the inside of the piping bag with the food coloring gel, which will stick to the sides, unlike just the plain food coloring that was a little bit drippy. You have to cut the piping bag so it fits over the sides of the glass. How does that seem? Any different? I think so. That looks better. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I got nominated to do this step because everybody else thinks it's gonna be a big cock up. So <laughs> let's see what happens. So we've got the really stiff peaks. And let's see. Gonna, well, I don't know. It does seem very dicey, and there was no video on this. Okay, come on, little guy. Uh. <laughs> Slam dunk. Okay. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. I'd pack it down. Yeah. Before I'd add any more. Pack, pack. Go, 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 go. Yay. Here we go. We're using the, Ooh. oh, wait, 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 let's look. It totally turned out. Okay, just a little, I think sm a little bit smaller. Yep. Oh, wow. Those are spectacular. Julia, that's amazing what you did. Those look really good. They're incredibly saturated, which is not quite, that's okay. The plan, but. We'll probably like this wow. Um, amazing. Those look so great, Julia. Yeah, these are fun. Ooh, those look great. Okay, now we have to put some little decorations on them. So look at that. Right? looking fab. We did a lot of white ones. There are a lot of work for the color because the the uh, food coloring is uh, very difficult to work with, but we're going to do a few more red and white ones and we're going to sprinkle them. All right, we're going to put them into the oven. And what are we going to do, Dan? 200 degrees? 225 for an hour and then it has to sit in the oven for seven hours as it slowly comes down. Okay, yeah. here we go. Let's put this one in. 
and we'll show you the final product. And look at these meringue cookies. How do they look once they're plated? Amazing. And I'm telling you, they taste delicious.